The international business model is to replicate the South African business model in three phases. One is to focus on improving our distribution capability. Second is to acquire more customers. And the third is to introduce more products and services. So moving on to India, India's focus is we've transitioned our platform into be a far more aggressive financial services platform, focusing on the traditional products like airtime, bill payments and so forth, but really introducing two additional products, one being acquiring and the other being money transfers. Um, the, the remittance market in India is about a $90 billion market, of which $20 billion is domestic remittances and about $70 billion being international remittances. We already do about two, just under $2.5 million per day and looking to grow that to about $5 million per day in the not-too-distant future. India, what we've seen is that our revenues and our margins from remittances have now surpassed our airtime margins, which is core to our strategy, not having dependency on one product. In Mexico, our network is still growing uh, tremendously. We have over 90,000 points of, uh, of devices deployed and growing steadily. We do similar to the likes of uh, India, where we distribute airtime, uh, bill payments, and so forth. But what we've introduced now is we've signed up a deal with both Banamex and Visa and converting our devices into doing POS acquiring for both debit and credit cards. And hopefully in the not too distant future, having the ability to distribute SIM cards like South Africa and earn some form of annuity income. Um, as far as our mobile solution segment goes, which houses our SMS aggregator called Cellfound, which are WASP and location-based service provider, we're currently doing just under 200 million SMSs a month. Um, and that's growing. What we're seeing out of SMS is that still we have a 98% delivery rate. Uh, people use a lot of SMSs, and of people receiving SMSs, 80% uh, open their SMSs within three minutes. What's important about SMSing versus instant messaging, the sender pays all, so the, the, the consumer is not required to have data. So it allows people to have constant communication with their customer base. We're also looking at providing enhanced technologies such as um, location-based services for banks to add additional layer of fraud detection. So for example, if we determine that a person is in Santon and someone's trying to process a transaction in Delmos, we can alert the bank's fraud department and they can investigate whether it's a fraudulent transaction. So really morphing the types of technologies we have built. We have an immense database, about 55 million customers on it. We provide 12 contact uh, call centers with uh, leads and database updates. We provide 20 million uh, database updates to the credit bureaus every quarter. So we look forward to actually increasing uh, our data. And what, by doing that, what we do is we encourage and retain our customers. We acquired a, com a, co a company called Via Media. Via Media is a content provider. And what's important in our world with content, well, as we are, as far as we are concerned, data is infinite. Voice will sooner or later get to a point where no matter how cheap voice is, you cannot talk for more than the hours in a day. Yet data or the internet is infinite. You can download data while you're sleeping. So Viamedia provides content, uh, ringtones, wallpapers, music, and so forth. And with our increasing uh, consumer acquisition, the ability to provide them products and services to encourage retention. So all in all, from an international point of view, focusing on our, uh, our building our distribution base, increasing our products, um, and locally in terms of our content provision, uh, encouraging a customer acquisition and reducing churn. It's been a, a very good year and building substantially for the future.